and welcome back to Sense and Sensitivity. In today's video, I'm going to talk about exfoliating sensitive and rosacea prone skin. So as most of you have probably experienced, depending on where you are in your rosacea or sensitive skincare journey, exfoliation is one of the most difficult things for us to figure out. It's so hard. There are so many ways to exfoliate the skin these days and there, um, is an, there are an abundance of acids on the market and scrubs and peels and all kinds of masks and things because um, people have found over time that exfoliation not only you know removes dead skin cells but it can help look, make the skin look brighter and firmer. However, for people with rosacea and ultra sensitive skin, a lot of types of um, exfoliation can be irritating and even damaging because for a lot of us, one of the underlying reasons why we have rosacea or why it's symptomatic is because we have a disrupted skin barrier and exfoliating can aggravate that um, dysfunctional skin barrier. So we have to be really, really careful and tread lightly. Before I had rosacea, I would occasionally use um, a glycolic acid toner like the Pixi by Petra one and back when my skin was mildly sensitive but not rosacea prone um, that seemed to work well for me I didn't have a bad reaction to it it tingled a little but I only use it once a week and it I did notice a brightening effect so I do know what people are talking about and experiencing um, when they talk about using acids for exfoliation so that was glycolic acid I've used a lactic acid toner in the past um, which I also thought, you know, was a bit more gentle, but also gave good results. However, that was all before my skin became ultra sensitive and I developed rosacea. So one of the most amazing things that I noticed once I developed rosacea was how little exfoliation I actually needed once I got through the first hump of recalibrating my skin. So before my rosacea, like I said, I would use a toner often, um, like once a week, to exfoliate. But sometimes I would do a mask or I would use a washcloth. Um, and often I was using a washcloth with an oil or cream cleanser to wipe away dirt and makeup at the end of the day. And all of that had to stop when I was diagnosed with rosacea because I finally understood that any one of those things could be disturbing my skin further and I had to really stop everything. I remember when I had my really really bad rosacea outbreak the doctor told me to not put anything in my, on my skin not even water for a full week which was very difficult and I talk all about that in my rosacea story. So if you want to learn more about that you can look back to one of my earlier videos. Um, so during that week, I noticed some buildup, especially here in my chin and my nose region. Those are definitely places where I get like a buildup of dead skin cells. And it was very difficult to not touch my face at all, but I did notice a great rebalancing of my skin after that one week rest period. And after that, I went into using gentle products, you know, non-foaming unscented cleanser and a basic moisturizer and my Aven mineral water, which I've talked about several times now. And that was it. Uh, and then over time, I discovered a few other products that work well, a couple of oils, which I'll talk about in a dedicated oils video, as well as my SBR moisturizing lotion that I've talked about in my moisturizers video that helps with the heat sensations. Um, but it wasn't until recently that I got back into exfoliating. One of the things I noticed is once I continued with my new regimen for a while was that actually a lot of that buildup ended up going away on its own. And I think part of it was that my skin had gotten used to me always exfoliating to remove all of that. So it wasn't doing as good of a job on its own shedding dead skin cells, which I think they call desquamation. Um, which is the shedding of that top layer of skin cells. So my skin has really balanced itself out over the past almost two years, yeah, two years of using a much more gentle and basic simplified approach to skincare and avoiding hot water um, and avoiding scrubbing. But I do still get a little bit of buildup and in the winter I will get a little bit of dry patches in 
um, my cheek region as well. So I've been on the hunt for some sort of exfoliating product that would work for me. Um, and I have two things that I'm going to share with you that have really helped keep my skin balanced and healthy, and have never irritated my skin, um, and help with some of that dead skin cell removal, but in a very, very gentle way. So the first is a washcloth. It's a special type of washcloth. It is hand-woven organic cotton. It's made in Japan, and it's by this brand called Ikuchi. I'll link it down below. So this is a super beautiful plush soft washcloth and like I said before my diagnosis I would frequently use washcloths to wipe off makeup at the end of the day but as my skin became more and more sensitive I realized that that wasn't working for me anymore. So I don't use it on a regular basis at all. Um, I'm using the Marie Veronique emulsifying essential oil free oil cleanser at night and um, and then I'll show you the other stuff I'm doing and that works well to get off my makeup without needing to use this but maybe about once a month I'll use this on skin that's been cleaned and then has another cleanser on top like a cream cleanser or some more of the oil cleanser just to kind of wipe away some of the residues in the crevices of my nose and my chin area and I'll get a little dry patch up here I don't really um, do any circular motions or any rubbing on my cheeks because they're too sensitive still. Um, but I will use this around the nose, down here, and on the sides of my chin, on my neck and chest. And it really helps just wipe away a little bit of that extra grime. And it does it in a very gentle way. These are my favorite washcloths. They're just so soft. So I do recommend if you like washcloths, or you're interested in just trying one, I do recommend this Ikuchi brand. Um, it's a $10 washcloth, but you know I, I use it so infrequently that it lasts forever. So that would be my tip number one. The other thing I found that sort of works like an extremely gentle version of an acid exfoliating toner is, you're not gonna be surprised, my favorite brand, the Marie Veronique balancing hypotonic. So this toner is in a glass container. You have to shake it really well and then you just open the cap and douse a cotton ball or a cotton pad with it. So I've been using these organic cotton rounds from Whole Foods for years and years. I really like them. What I do to conserve them is I actually split them in half. So I'll show you what I do. Um, because I know using these isn't the best thing for the environment, but I haven't found any washable, reusable cotton pads that I like that are gentle enough to use daily yet. I'm gonna try a new brand soon and I can report back, but until then, what I do is I'll take one of these and I'll split it in half. You get some of those fuzzies, but it doesn't really affect it. Um, and I just use them at night, so I just use one at night. And what you do is you douse this product onto the cotton pad and gently swipe it all over your skin. I actually take it a step further. I spray a little bit of my thermal water on this pad first and I'll use that to wipe off any residue from my eyes and then I'll douse some of the tonic on top of that so it's a little bit more diluted so it's extra gentle um, for my skin. But I think using a toner on a cotton pad like this is a wonderful way to get gentle but regular um, exfoliation, just of the super, super top superficial layer of extra skin that's basically already on its way to shedding. This just helps give it that little extra push without being harsh or overly aggressive like other types of exfoliating can be. And I have noticed with this product that it has made an improvement in keeping my skin calm. It took about a week of using it every day to get some of the last remaining flakes I had on my cheeks gone. Um, and it's cleared up a little bit of um, bumpiness I had in my chin area. So I'm really, really enjoying this product. I've been using it for probably a month now and I just think it's a wonderful way to finish your cleanse at the end of the night and give sensitive prone skin a gentle exfoliation while also keeping it hydrated. Now, I will say you need to shake this product really well and like most of the products in this 
essential oil free range which is the Christina Holy and Marie Veronique range of which I also use the oil cleanser the products smell funky so when I smell this <laughs> it's it's so hard to describe it smells like turmeric powder or like turmeric juice um, so like think of that kind of earthy smell from a turmeric latte if you've never cooked with turmeric powder on its own mixed with vinegar and green tea I mean it smells like what the ingredients are but I think it is shocking at first because we're so used to products either smelling really good meaning floral or fruity um, or in the case of people with sensitive skin completely neutral and being non-scented this is neither although it has no essential oils in it it does have this strong sort of sour earthy smell I don't mind it at all but I love turmeric and I love apple cider vinegar I use them in cooking I'll drink apple cider vinegar sometimes so I'm not bothered by those scents but do prepare yourself ahead of time um, so that you're not shocked and you're not spending a bunch of money on something that you won't use because you hate the way it smells which is you know a reasonable thing um, so I'm loving this product I think it's a wonderful way to gently exfoliate and the good news is if you're unsure the Marie Veronique website offers mini bottles so this is four ounces they offer a one ounce size that you can purchase to trial before you you know dive in and invest because this is a $45 product I will say that my bottle is up to there and I've been using it for almost a month now because I just do one quick shake on a cotton pad and that's all and that's enough to just clean up any residue at the end of the night and I only use it once a day so I'm extremely conservative with pretty much all of my skincare um, mostly because you know some of the products I like and that work well for my skin are quite expensive and I'm always on a budget so I'm not one of those people who's like squeezing the whole tube of oil and just slapping it everywhere and whatever like I am very precise with the drops I use and all of that so that I get the maximum product on my face while using the smallest amount possible and I think that's doable with this product too and I think using half of a cotton pad helps with that too because if you use a double-sided or especially a cotton puff it's going to absorb more of the liquid and it's going to absorb more than is necessary to wipe over your skin so that's just my two cents on that but while this is $45, the trial size for the one ounce I think is 14 on the Marie Veronique website and you can also get 12% off if it's your first time purchasing from her. So I think that's a wonderful way to make a small investment, test it out over several weeks or months. I think a one ounce bottle would last a month or a couple months actually because I've maybe used half an ounce of this for the last month. So I could see this lasting me six months or so, which is basically how long they say you should keep these products open um, and use them up so they maintain their freshness. So there you have it. My exfoliating routine is very basic, which I think is probably the best way to approach exfoliation for anyone with rosacea or sensitive skin. Less is more, as we know, in all aspects of our skincare routine. Um, but, you know... You've got to find a way to keep the skin healthy and glowing and removing some of those extra dead skin cells as well. So using a washcloth or finding a tonic that works for you. It could even be as simple as using the cotton pad with mineral water to swipe over your skin. Because even that, just that action of something wiping on top is going to lift extra product and dead skin cells. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe for more content from Sense and Sensitivity, and I'll see you soon.